Hello my beautiful Leo friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and we're here for a general love reading for the sign of Leo. So let's take a look. It is a timeless reading and see what the energies are between you and your person. Let's take a look. Cut the deck. Hope everyone's doing well. Glad that you're here giving, allowing me to show you a reading. Thank you. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, there's some communication going on and some throwing caution to the winds. Looks like there's some fun. There's some stability. Okay, so let's take a look and see what's happening. So in the recent past, the mutual energy between you and a lover is the high priestess. Interesting. I got that for Aries. You might want to take a look at the Aries if you have Aries in your chart, Moon Rising or Venus. The current energy between you and a lover, Leo, is the Seven of Coins. That is Taurus energy, Cancer energy. Leo, there you are in your reading. Bold, big and bold. Look at you holding your lantern. Look at that. You are you have fire in your belly for someone. It looks like that is the energy that is making you view this relationship very optimistically. How you view your person, you view your person as a very reliable, grounded, stable, loving, nurturing person. That is Capricorn energy, Queen of Pentacles. The Five of Swords. How does your person feel in your hearts, in their heart space, Leo? We get the Five of Swords. They feel as though there's something unfair about the situation that is Aquarius energy. How do they view this situation going forward for the two of you? Taurus energy, beautiful energy. It's the energy of manifestation, the Empress. So your person really feels as though there's a lot of growth in this relationship, Leo, and they really want it with you because that's they think that there's no other person that they would be as happy with as they are with you. All right. What is the hidden energy between the two of you? This is Aquarius energy. Oh, sneaking around, really not really not necessarily being coming clean with each other not revealing a lot to one another at this time spirit is recommending have a better attitude oh interesting energy spirit is saying you need to stop looking at negative and that you need to look at the positive it looks like there was probably a recent fallout or argument or difficulty in the relationship i feel as though overall the relationship is very strong but your person, Leo, seems to feel as though with the sword's energy, they're up in their head about it. Spirit does say that there needs to be an apology made or the two of you need to come together and just move in a much more positive uh, forward motion in the relationship, sort of heal any little bumps, bruises, wounds, or misunderstandings. Your outcome card is the two of wands. Well, you're at a crossroads, so it does speak to the fact that both of you need to make the decision to go forward. It's a really, it's very nice though. I like the energy. So let's see what the clarifiers are here. The Two of Wands energy is Aries energy and it's like, well, we're at a crossroads. Are we gonna commit? Are we gonna part ways? What are we gonna do? It's time to decide, okay. So why do we have the Page of Swords here? The Page of Swords, that pesky little Gemini, curious, curious cat. All right, the world card, Aquarius energy, interesting. The two of you may be from different cultures, you could be from different countries, but both of you have completed, you look like you're very successful in your lives respectively. The Ace of Swords says that you have great clarity about what you want in the recent past. You both want to nurture the relationship, but you're not talking about it. You're both taking a wait and see attitude, but you both clearly want to see what can come of this. Currently, it looks like the two of you are invested in the relationship and very happy. You know, this happiness card was stuck under, or the Ten of Wands was stuck under the happiness card. Happily ever after, after giving up some burdens. I think both of you might have come into this relationship. It might be a new relationship. 
in which you're just trying to decide what direction you're going to head in. I feel as though both of you have given up baggage from the past, um, either with each other, but I don't think so. I think that's mostly like from the past past with other people and you really want your happiness with each other. You feel very joyful when you're together. You're, you know, that is eat, drink, be merry. Let me introduce you to my friends. Let's go out and have fun on the town. Let's be part of the group. And it's, it's pretty fantastic energy. I like the nine of cups. It's wish fulfillment is the meaning of the card. Oh, look at this, Leo. Your person really has it for you. They feel as though you are their magician, you are their magic. They are turned on by you. They feel there's chemistry. That to me is that moment when people really have that electrical kind of, you know, zzz, 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 from finger from fingertip to fingertip. Toe temperance. You have two ma major arcanas with the way that your person sees you. Um, the two of you evolving in this relationship. They want to stay cool, calm, collected, Sagittarius energy, happy-go-lucky, but very calm. And with the magician, that is Virgo and Gemini energy. They definitely are trying to manifest a very stable, happy environment with you. Temperance card is really that guardian angel. Look at this. They also see you as a very fiery, passionate person underneath the surface. You're all about business by day, but by night, ooh, you are hot. I like it. Very hot. They see you as sexy and exciting. And look at that. We have the Aries Queen, Sagittarius, and Leo. It's a Leo reading. All right. Trifecta of uh, fire here. All right, the three of coins. Your person feels as though in their heart space that the two of you need to collaborate more. There needs to be some sense of teamwork. That's where they see this should go. That's what they think needs to happen. They definitely want to be in this energy of, hey, let's go to Home Depot and pick out paint chips. I, they have their eyes on you, domestically speaking. <laughs> let's, let's look at the Empress card, throwing caution to the winds. Okay, well, we have the Page of Swords. Now we have throwing caution to the winds. Your person is just going to put it right out there to you. They're going to say, look at, look at Leo. You know, I want a relationship with you. Leo, there you are again. They want a victory with you. They want to be seen with you. They want to enjoy you. They want to claim you as their partner, a little victory there. They definitely want to really jump in and be much more committed. So for them, the crossroads is very clear. They know what they want. So now the question is, is what do you want? So let's tell us the Seven of Swords, the two of you have not really shared this information with each other. And the Seven of Swords, the Five of Coins. Okay. So what I'm seeing here with you, Leo, is that there must have been some sort of weird energy that speaks to the fact that what you don't talk about haunts both of you, that both of you are very fearful that you're going to be left in the cold and that, you know, one of you will cheat on the other, but this is mutual energy. Remember that. So when you look at the five of coins energy, you can see the key, the lock, the person has their head down. They think they're locked out, but they're not. So I would just say the two of you really need to be more down to earth with each other. Don't keep so many secrets. Don't worry so much. I'm really seeing this as a very vibrant uh, beginning here. Why is spirit saying that the two of you need to calm down here? Ah, you have the potential of marriage if you do. What we're seeing here is Spirit is saying, you know, you need to really have faith in this relationship. The Hierophant card is all about traditional beliefs, religious beliefs, that you really need to believe that you can have happiness and that you need to come up out of your head, you need to be more optimistic. There are still two cups left over, even if you've been hurt by love in the past, so... There's your advice from spirit. The Eight of Swords. Wow, it's time to make a decision to move forward. But now we're in Gemini energy, all up in your head, self-imposed restriction. Why do we have self-imposed restriction? Well, 
both of you are feeling right now as though you don't want to be the first one to make a choice or to, oh, you have a very sexy relationship. This is very intimidating to both of you. Both of you are holding back. Look at this. Look at this reading. So it's time to make a decision. You're both holding back. You feel very kind of compulsively attracted to each other. The two of coins, you've not become exclusive yet. You're not talking about becoming exclusive. The ace of wands is a lot, probably a little too much emphasis on passion. You know, here for a good time, but not necessarily a long time. But that's not how your person feels. But they're beginning to wonder if you feel that way. Ah, nice. Okay. So now we have Libra coming in. You know, we have Venus and Libra. And um, what we're seeing here is you're going to balance things out. Your person is going to work very hard to be part of the solution here. They are definitely in manifesting mode with you. They are manifesting their Leo by being calm, cool, and collected, but sexy and fun. They are definitely, they have all the tools to know how to do this. So we're going to clarify. First of all, I'm going to look at the three Oracle cards. We are going to clarify that Devil card. We're going to clarify the Two of Coins, the Eight of Swords. Well, we're just going to clarify everything in that little pile. So tell us about this relationship overall. Where it's, is it heading? Happy, happy. There you go. Look at that. It's almost like she's dancing on top of the world and she's dancing on top of the world. So this relationship has a lot of mojo. Lots of mojo. I'm going to call it lots of mojo. By the book. Okay. So, you know, that's kind of what Spirit is saying also. Try to do things by the book. And look at this serendipity. You have good luck right now. Message in a bottle, okay, message in a bottle. Spirit is saying that you have a message coming in that is all about being fair to one another. You need to open up. That's what we're seeing here. Okay, so now what we want to see is, I want to look at the heart of the fairy for the devil. Tell us about the devil card, Spirit, please. Tell us about the devil card. Clarify the Devil card, please. Lady of Sorrows. Okay. So somebody and we... Oh my gosh, look at this. This is sorrow. Okay. This is fear. This is fear. Buy the book is what you need to do. But some, both of you are very much caught up in the wounds of the past because we could see it here. See this? Ten of Wands. So both of you are still living with wounds from the past that you need to address and you need to clear because this is going to make the relationship toxic. If you don't clear this energy, you definitely have to work on doing that. Why are both of you all up in your head in this Gemini energy? Wow. Well, you're both, this is a very confident energy, but you're not confident. You have an understanding of what the problem is, but you don't know what to do about it, either as a team or together. Why do we have the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? For both of you. Pan. Oh, you're holding back because you are afraid to be happy. Okay, so knock it off, guys. You have to knock it off. You have to knock it off. You can't worry about not being happy. Okay. So the two of pentacles is bothering me. Why is that here? Why is the two of pentacles here? That's like juggling multiple people. I never like the two of pentacles in a love reading particularly. Okay. Flexible. Okay. So basically what I'm seeing is that both of you are remaining flexible and you're not ready to commit yet. But it does look like you're headed in that direction. Let's take a Moonology card and see as we close this energy out here what it means. Okay. Don't let your past hold you back. Oh, what were we saying? We can't make this stuff up for you. You don't have to let a really beautiful relationship that has so much potential um, 
you know, you don't have to let it sort of fall apart here because of fear. Let's see what the High Priestess Oracle says for you as advice at this time. What is the advice from the High Priestess Oracle for our beautiful Leo friends? Summoning power, instinct, intellect, and control. Good, okay, controlling your fears, not letting your imagination run away with you, not thinking about the past, focusing on the present, sacred breath and sound, life force, communication. So there you have it. Leo, it looks like a beautiful reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, share, and comment so that YouTube will let other people see this video. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you.